Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, so I recently had somebody ask about cross-posting to Etsy using List Perfectly. So um, I'm gonna do just a little demo. I really would like to get more items on Etsy, but um, I don't know. Etsy is like the hardest platform for me. And honestly, if it wasn't for List Perfectly, I never, like Etsy, I just wouldn't use it because List Perfectly, cross-posting from eBay to Etsy using it makes it a lot use a lot more user-friendly. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Full-time reseller. All right, let's get started. Okay, Bolo Buddies, so if you want to try List Perfectly, you can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word, and that will get you 30% off your first month. Let's go into the screen share. So I am going to go into my eBay active listings, and right now um, I have the keyword vintage typed in because Etsy is more of a vintage platform. So I have 1,526 vintage items in my eBay store. So I've got some options here. So I'm basically looking through here and I'm going to see what I think is, you know, worth putting over on Etsy here. I'm going to click on, we're just going to pick about five items here. I'm going to click on this little button and that's going to allow me to highlight. I'm going to cross post these items in bulk. So I'm just looking here for some vintage items that I would like to cross post. Um, let's see. Looking for, you know, just things that I think could do well. And some of these may do well. I'm just, I don't know. I guess I'm, I feel like in my mind I have something specific. So I'm going to try this um, dollhouse lot right here as it's vintage and i'm going to try this dollhouse lot anybody sold dollhouse items on etsy and if so how do they do and um let's go with um let's see these are kind of fun um they are uh these are cufflinks and they're bowling and fishing theme so that'll give me five items. So that should um, give you guys a good idea of how it works. And I'm going to show you what I mean. Like, I feel like the item specifics over there, they're just confusing to me. But, you know, I'm primarily an eBay seller. And then I also sell on Poshmark and Mercari. So I would say Etsy would be closest to like eBay. But you'll see what I'm saying here if you don't sell on Etsy. So here are the different areas that you can cross post to. I'm going to show you Etsy. I'm going to hit copy. And now these items are going to pop up in my browser. They're going to go over to Etsy. And again, I'm only doing five items. Okay, so you can see up here in the browser area, those items are loading. And typically I do 20 to 50 at a time. But um, to keep this video not long, I'm just going to pick five to show you guys how to do it. All right. So now it has taken me over to Etsy. And here is the first item. All right. So let's go with this dollhouse furniture and see if it goes better. I may just crop out that other one since I totally messed it up and took forever. Um, another person or comp company. What is it? It's a finished product. When was it made? Again, I don't know. So I'm just going to put before 2003, um, dollhouse uh, furniture. And primary color is probably going to be brown. Uh, a lot of this stuff I don't fill in. My everything came over here. Uh, let's go with dollhouse. All house furniture, bedroom furniture. Uh, 
wood, ceramic, and metal. Uh, hmm. I'm just going to go with wood. Add. Um, I'm going to increase the price a little bit on this. Let me see here. Can't remember. I think it did have some issues. It had some damage. Um, so let's go with 35. It's still a really cool piece. And this is on Poshmark and Mercari already. So I'm just adding Etsy. And we are going to do priority mail. I wonder if I can do... Um, yeah, see, uh, first class, I'm just going to use priority mail. I, I'm going to have to do a little more research on how to add um, first class. I don't even know for sure if this is under 16 ounces. So I better, once I box it, it might be over two pounds. So we'll just go with um, priority mail on this one. So let's publish that. Then we're going to go here to the next one. This is the um, bathroom set. Who made it? Another person or company. A finished pro product before 2003. The category, again, is going to be dollhouse furniture or miniatures. Um, I'm just going to leave no primary color. I don't think I have to fill that in. So it tells here what comes with this. So I could tag this dollhouse. And I don't know, do you guys like tags? I hate tags. And I wonder how much they really help. If you know anything about tags, let me know in the comments. Do you think they really get people to your item? So I'm just gonna go with that. And this is, I think it's porcelain or ceramic. So I'm gonna increase this to 45. Um, again, priority mail, we're gonna go with two pounds and we're going to go with nine by eight by six and we're going to hit publish and i will be much quicker once i get more familiar with etsy again i have been a big slacker on this platform and i think it's a great platform so um, these are the cufflinks the bowling cufflinks so everything came over another company or person made it a finished product i don't know what year it's from i know it's earlier but we're going to go before 2003 just to keep it safe. We're going to type in cufflinks here and hope that, yes, there's a category. Um, these would be men's. I don't know. Are they pewter? I'm not really sure, you guys. So I'm just going to leave the material off because it is optional. Um, most of these things I will just leave off. Style. Uh, I don't know what style this is, so I'm just going to put nothing there. Now, people that do jewelry, this is probably a great website for you if you know your stuff because there's a lot of detail. So my description came over. I'm going to go with vintage, um, silver tone, bowling, bowling cufflinks. Cufflinks. This part takes forever. So that's why I'm asking you guys, is it that important? I'm going to take this off because I don't know. I'm going to put 22 on these. Um, you know what? Actually, I think I'm going to do 30 and I'm going to do free shipping on these. I'm just going to try that. I usually don't do free shipping, but this is going to be first class. So I think that it would be okay. Um, not sure how international stuff works over here so hopefully if it's international the buyer will pay the shipping now these cufflinks have like little fishing scenes on them so um who made it another company or person a finished product when was it made before 2003 cufflinks um these are men's the rest i'll just leave blank um, if you know jewelry, definitely fill it in. Uh, vintage cufflinks, fishing, oops, fishing. There's also a tie bar. 
So we'll just go with that. And then again, I'm going to go at $30 and I'm going to do free shipping. I don't know if you can send offers or if people can make offers or not on Etsy. So if anybody knows, I am not super familiar with this website. I would like to get more familiar with it because I think it's a great platform. Okay, you guys, so those items are up and listed. So let's talk about list perfectly pricing. Um, I use the business plan. It's $49 a month. Now, you do also have the option to list directly into the catalog. And if you list into the catalog, you then go from the catalog and cross post your items to the other platforms. And then you can use the D-list option, which is fantastic because you basically go in, you find the item and on list perfectly and you it'll pull it up on the other platforms and you just hit the list and it will take it off of those other platforms. The way I'm doing it, you have to manually go in and remove your item. That is why I use the custom SKU. So do I recommend using the catalog? Yes. Do I use it? No. And the reason I don't use it is because I have like 5,000 listings. And for me to just start completely over and add all of those items to list perfectly, it's just too much for me right now. Um, maybe I'll do it someday. But for now, this is working for me. And I really like doing it this way. So um, the business plan is what I use. If I was using the catalog, I would definitely use the pro plan. And I'm going to tell you why. Um, the simple plan, you guys saw how I did the bulk cross posting. I did five items at a time. Typically I will do 20 or 30 and I will go to multiple platforms. Today's demo is just showing you how to get from eBay to Etsy. Um, I do have other demonstration videos if you guys want to check those out. Now, the simple plan, it's only going to cross over the four things, the images, the title, description, and price, which those are the most important things but look how much more you get. You also do not get the bulk cross posting feature. You have to do them one by one. So to me, the $49 plan is the way to go. If you're using the catalog, you definitely want to upgrade to the pro plan. And the reason why is you get photo room with the background remover, pro measurements, Sizely integration. Those are all additional things you get. It looks like also pro description builder, pro title and key suggestions, pro global footers. I don't even know what these are. These must be new things that I don't know about. List perfectly uses information you enter to generate a description that is professionally formatted and CEO optimized. Ooh, um, that's interesting. List perfectly uses information you enter to generate title and keyword suggestions for you. So these are things that I didn't even know existed. Global footers are the perfect place to add information your buyers need to know, such as shipping time, social media, or anything else related to business overall. List perfectly add your global footer in the end of every listing description during the cross post. So that's interesting. So those are features that you get with the pro plan that you do not get with the, um, oh, what's it called? The simple in the business. So definitely before you sign up, go to the pricing and look through and figure out which is going to be best for you. Um, I should probably be using the pro plan if I'm being completely honest, but I'm just kind of stuck at the $49 plan for now. So, um, but again, the big bonus of this, I think is the photo room that they added so you can get those fresh white backgrounds. And I'm not sure if um, there's a limit on how many listings or how many photos. Um, it doesn't, I don't believe it says. Let's see, maybe it does. Remove the background on 1,500 images per month. You guys, 1,500 images per month. I know me, I typically only do my first photo. So um, that's fantastic. 1,500 is a lot. You do not need to pay extra for photo room. This feature comes included with the pro plan. Okay, let's see. What is pro measurements? Add measurements to your listing or to your list perfectly listing, which can be added to your pro description and also include auto conversion um, from inches to centimeters Ooh, or centimeters to inches. That's cool. Directly export your Sizely size charts and measurements into List Perfectly with a single click. Please note, you must be a Sizely subscriber to use this feature. 
So photo room, you do not have to have photo room. Sizely, you do for it to work. So, but still great upgrades. So you guys, I've been using List Perfectly since 2019. Um, I absolutely love it. Um, I am going to try to get more items on Etsy. Uh, you guys know that I start on eBay and I typically cross post to Poshmark and Mercari. I do have videos showing you guys how to do that, but Etsy is a great platform and I have a lot of vintage stuff. So I really should get more items over there. So I think I'm at like a little over a hundred listings on Etsy now. So thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions. I will try to remember to link my other list perfectly videos. Um, I know I have one that shows you if you're on Mercari, how to get your items to other platforms. If you're only on Poshmark, how to get your items. Um, again, I don't use the catalog, so I don't have a video on that, but I do have lots of videos where if you're on one platform and want to get to the other. So I'll link those down in the description. They've added all my photos for me. My title is here. Now it says, who made it? Um, must or please select an item in the list. This is the part I hate because I'm just not comfortable with it. But another company or person, that one's pretty easy. What is it? It's a finished product. And when was it made? Ooh, I have no idea. Um, that's This is the part that always gets me. <laughs> Um, goodness, made to order recently before 2003. I'm just going to go with before 2003 because I think it was before 2003. I, I don't know. I mean, that's the part that I don't like about Etsy, but it's a vintage website. You know what I mean? So the category is going to be, um, doll accessories, maybe. All accessories. Okay, so we'll just click on that. And this is why I don't do Etsy because of all of this, you guys. It drives me nuts. Um, doll clothes and accessories. I guess uh, doll making, kids crafts, sewing. No, it's an actual item. So I guess I picked the wrong description. Doll. Um, let's see. Clothing. Let's try that. Dresses, shirts, clothes, and accessories. Okay, so I just picked the wrong thing. And I'm sure like with anything else, um, well, no, that was the right one. But I guess I don't have to click on this since it's not a craft. Once you get to know a platform, it does get easier. Um, most of the stuff, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm going to leave blank. Okay, so here it is. The listing will renew as it expires for 20 cents each time. And I think it's every three or four months, you guys, but don't quote me on that. Definitely do your research. Um, you can add tags. Um, so I guess I'll do cabbage patch kids, um, CPK vintage, and that's all I'm going to do. It's cloth. So I'm going to, it won't let me. Maybe it's already there. Oh, okay. So they automatically put cloth in there for me. So $42, um, you can see my custom SKU came over. So that's going to tell me that this item is in tote G. It's going to tell me where I got it and what I paid for it. And it's going to tell me where it's listed. So if it's on Etsy, um, if it was on Poshmark, Etsy, and Mercari, it would say PM and MC. But this one I haven't cross-posted yet to the others. Um, let's do priority mail, um, I guess two pounds. I think I can fit this in a 14 by 10 by five. We'll just say if a buyer lives in Chicago, I see, I don't even know why they're telling me this. Um, I guess they're just giving me an idea. <laughs> if somebody lives in Chicago, I'm going to hit publish. Um, there's a non-refundable fee of 20 cents for each new listing by publishing. You agree to pay this fee. The publication date will restart today's date and the listing will expire four months from today. So four months, it, I was thinking it was three or four. So I'm going to hit publish. Must apply all 
required attributes. Okay, what did I miss? You cannot add the same thing. So that must have been, that must have been giving me an error since I didn't delete. Let's try again. Okay, so I'm still doing something wrong. This is a horrible demo video, you guys. It's awful. Um, do you guys see anything that's lit up? Oh, I bet it's, no. Renewal, automatic, physical, a tangible item. I don't know what I'm missing. Shipping. Huh. Wonder how many times I have uh, added that. <laughs> Let me go to my Etsy and see if it's there. I might just be getting an error. So I have 99 things on Etsy, but it's been a long time since I've put anything there. I'm guessing it's probably this right here. Shoppers will find items in all of these categories. This item is vintage. Let me try to switch this to something else. Dolls. Doll bags in duffel bags. Mm, let's try this. Okay, so here. Um, golly. Maybe this will help someone, I guess. I don't know. publish. So that was the problem, you guys. They wanted me to tell if it was a craft or whatnot, and it wasn't any of that. So um, I just had it in the wrong category. All right, you guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching.